Well, after some big wins in yesterday's primary, some big players in the Democratic Party gathered for the annual Democrats Unity Breakfast on Wade State's campus this morning. 7 Action News reporter Dima Shafe now shows us what yesterday's winners are doing to gear up for the general election come November. Uh, we ran a good campaign, I think. That's Wayne County Executive Democrat frontrunner Warren Evans talking about a huge win yesterday. Thousands visiting the polls, making their voice heard. They want change. Now the work really starts, and so uh, take a few days off and then start planning, uh, you know, how we're going to kind of process re-engineer. He says he doesn't take this primary win for granted. I think a track record of, you know, 35 years in public service, actually getting things done, uh, managing well, and, and being honest and above board about the things that I'm doing. It comes to the others in the race for the county's highest seat. He says he's hoping to shift how the county has been doing business. His goals? Uh, adequately fund what is, in essence, probably the county's most significant responsibility, which is criminal justice, which is the prosecutor, the courts, and the sheriff. Uh, and if we do that properly and we manage our finances properly, we're going to uh, bring a lot of benefit to the rest of the county, which really requires uh, those county officers to be successful. Evans, not the only big winner at the Democratic Party's Unity Breakfast. It was an exciting night, but as I've been saying from the beginning, I'm in the midst of a giant job interview with the people of the 12th district. Debbie Dingle vying for the seat being vacated by her husband, longtime Congressman John Dingle. This morning, celebrating the passing of her first round. I'm going to work hard to meet as many people as I can in the 12th district so they can get to know me. I can listen to them. They'll know that I'm always going to be accessible and I'll be a fighter for them. And another person we caught up with, Southfield's own Mayor Brenda Lawrence, who, based on last night's votes, is claiming victory. I'm excited. I'm excited because I was elected by the people. Lawrence seeking the 14th district congressional seat, and it looks like her campaign may be paying off. Stay true to my grassroots, taking care of the people listening, and, and making sure that we put our agenda out there. And, and Good morning. And my, my history of service, and the people gave me their trust. In Detroit, Nima Shafe, 7 Action News.